Hello, everybody, and then I believe you're all doing great. Amazing Python is this. There's a very quick question and answer session. And for this episode, we have a question from Somoshui Shataji. And the question is actually based on the coding snippet 005, which was on wind barbs and then wind vector plots. And the person wanted to know how to apply a fill color also to the wind vectors that we plotted. And so we have the same code as was detailed out in the coding snippet 005. Now every explanation still remains the same. We have XRA imported, CatoPy, CCRS, and then the feature also imported for the CatoPy or the um, geographical imagery function. And then also the matplotlib.py plot for the plotting interface. And then we're still using the same error, five data sets. And we plot in just for one defined pressure level, that's 925. And then we have our X and Y being the longitude and latitude, the U and V being the zonal and then the meridional component of the wind, respectively. And then we have our plotting interface, which is a one paneled plot. We use a projection of plates carry from the CCRS of Catopi. And then also we create the coastlines to give us the defined coast lines. And then we add the borders to create the country lines and then define an extent to restrict our plots. This um, restriction is within just West Africa. So we have the West, the East, the South, and then the North. And then this bounding box would cut out just for West Africa. And then line 30 is what generates the wind vectors. Okay, so we run this code to see what we originally had and then how we can enhance them. All right, so now this was the original imagery or the original figure. Now what we need to do is to include the contour field. But then to do that, we would have to first get the magnitude of our vectors. And so what we are going to do in there is we then know that the magnitude will be the square root of our u squared plus our v squared. So we find the square root of, you know, the squares of u and v, which is summed up, all right. And so to do that, we'll need to import numpy for the square root functionality. So we import numpy as np and then beyond line 22, we can then say rm, which is a magnitude equals to np.sqrt for the square root of u squared plus v squared. Well, if I don't bring the parentheses around the v squared and the u squared, by order of priority, it would compute the exponents first. So we'll have the u squared computed separately, the v squared computer separately before it then sums up. So it comes down to exactly what we need. So I don't need to then put these in parentheses, but then I could also do same by putting them in parentheses just for readability and then for my own easy um, understanding of the code. All right. So once we do this, we have the magnitude now declared. And so as part of the line 32, we can then have our X and Y as the longitude and latitude, and then the UMV being the zonal and the meridional components. And then we also include the M, which is the magnitude. And so that will be used for the contour fill. I mean, the sorry, the color fill for the um, wind vector. Now we will need to define our color map. So we have C map defined, and there are a whole lot of color maps which we can use. Now in this case, I prefer to use um, the jet for now, okay? But then there are a whole lot of options to use and we will then decide to equate this to a variable, let's say CB. And beyond that now, okay, let's plot this one out first. So now you see there are some color shadings in there based on the magnitude of the wind speed. So then to include the color bar, we then um, please on the next line, 
ax dot color bar into brackets now the variable of the line of the quiver which is cb so once we run everything oh sorry it should be plt rather plt dot color bar of cb okay and so once we are done with that we have the wind vector showing and then with the magnitude of each vector shown on the color bar and that's all all other properties we would need like the units and the rest we can then include from the color bar functionality just include the um units and so on and so forth and that's all but then the concept here for you to get is that we can also um aside looking at just the length to define the strength we can also um use a color shading for the strength and then show that on the color bar so it's easy to interpret that i believe you enjoyed this session if you did don't forget to hit the notification bell for any further notification whenever we post and if you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe and be part of the family let's keep learning like i always say it's always big up there let's explore let's get bigger and let's get better and hope you have a wonderful time learning and being good at python bye bye